Hey everybody and welcome to the Quadcopter Review. I'm your host Pepe Prawns and as always I like to start these videos out by asking you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel helps us build our channel to make it bigger and better. Liking and commenting helps us here on the YouTube search engine. I'd like to also ask you guys to share this out there on Facebook and your other social networks. Make sure people know about the channel so we can keep doing the good things we're doing. Always on all the beginnings of all these videos, you're going to find right up here links to the latest giveaways here on the channel. Always some great giveaways going on on the channel. And you definitely want to check those out, follow the directions on the video. Today we're going to look at the Tiny Leader HD. In the box, you're going to get the Tiny Leader. A 300 mAh 2S battery and some stickers and that is it. Now this one, just like the standard version, comes with the same parts. Those 1103, 11,000 kV motors. The big difference being this Caddx Turtle V2 HD camera. It is running the same FSD 408 stack and that is a 2S to 3S stack. It's a 16 by 16 millimeter stack and it is running BL Heli S 8 amp ESCs on it. Uh, some other interesting facts about it is the STM32 F11 flight controller. We also have our full speed branded TX600 VTX and that is up to 600 milliwatts. We also have our XT30. Our mic from our camera is stuck in the VTX hole. That uh, VTX antenna is a dipole and it is situated weirdly sideways. And so was the flight controller. I'm using the FR Sky. I'm going to punch a hole in my canopy to solve the problem and put that through it or rethink the canopy completely and put holes in it to uh to put these antennas through if you don't have a printer or don't want to punch holes in it i'm sure you can use some wire ties to just put it under that canopy and get them in an upright position now the only flaw we have here once again is just like with the standard kit i'm gonna have to use this beta fpv 300 milliamp hour battery he supplies you with a gnb 300 milliamp 2s battery as well but we don't get a mount for these nice 3S batteries that I loaded up on in anticipation to fly this quote unquote 3S whoop. So until my new printer gets here, cause my other one broke, I'm kind of stuck. And if you don't own a printer, you're really stuck because I can make a new one to make this work and you won't be able to. So you're gonna have to take that mount off and get fancy. We have uh, an SD card that you can need to buy as well. Don't forget about that. I thought I'd throw that in while I was thinking here. Um, it doesn't come with one. I've never seen one come with a, an SD card for you anyways. So keep that in mind if you do buy this. Uh, as I was saying though, um, you can get fancy with some, some Velcro or whatever and, and strap down a 3S if you're gonna do it that way. Or look on Thingiverse, Albert Kim's posted one to run regular 1S batteries in a session of three, but you'll have to make a wire to make that work. And uh, we also don't come with anything to, to make this 1Sable, so don't, don't think about doing that because you're not gonna be able to. That XT30 is on it not your regular JST 2.0. So keep those little bit of things in mind as we go forward. Now there's been a couple that have been out there that had some problems for people, but Lewis is making good on everybody that had a problem and he feels it was uh, in the shipping some humidity issues that might have hurt the boards with static. But I've had no issues in either of several other people I know, so it's not a, a global thing here with this quad. Now I'm gonna show you setting up the turtle. Now the first thing I do is I jump in there and I manage the settings. So these are going to be the image effect area. I'm going to bring the saturation down to 3. I'm going to bring the sharpness down to 2. I'm going to bring the contrast down to 4. And I'm going to bring the brightness um, up to 6. These are what I've found and I've got these actually from Albert Kim as the optimal settings and they work really, really well. So you're definitely going to want to save out on that and save an exit there and then we're good to go. Now it's important for me to let you know here that mine, again, in the early first run, did not come with the little joystick you need in order to make these settings. I hope he starts adding those because they usually come with the camera. If not, you're going to need to purchase one of those little joysticks in order to do these settings. So I'll have that with all the rest in the links below. 
Let's also set this guy to auto boot on, which means when you plug it in, the camera will start and you don't have to worry about pushing that button. If you don't want that on, you want to push the button, just don't mess with that setting and you'll be perfectly fine. Now we'll change our VTX over to a higher Miller Watt and to do that, take your throttle stick, move it to the center, pull it left, take your right stick and push it up and that should take you into smart audio and you use left, uh, right, up, down to navigate your way through the system. So to do that, you're going to go in with your smart audio, you're going to head over to the VTX section. You're going to change your band if you want to. It comes on race band. I use E1 as the setting for my bands here in this area. B1 or E1 are my favorites and uh, we'll set that up here as you can see in smart audio and get that all set. I'm going to change the power out on this guy to 400. Remember that setting your power will cause it to eat more battery. So make your decision um, based on your need for sure. And then what we're going to do is we're going to save and reboot and we're going to be out of here and get ready to do some flying. Let's start off with the only problem I ever found in the Caddx V1 and V2 Turtle, and that is the lightness of the display through your goggles. Uh, you're gonna wanna change your settings in your goggles to get it a little darker so it matches what you're filming, but it's just an effect that comes along with setting it for the optimal settings for output. So as you can see, we got pretty decent settings. This is completely unaltered right out of the box with the settings I showed you. Sharp, uh, a little bit thick, a little bit pasty, but as you'll see, we'll make the transition right here to just doing a little bit of editing and blam. This is the kind of footage you can get out of the Caddx Turtle V2. It is, in my opinion, very nice. As you can see, we're getting uh, zero jello here. Um, very, very nicely put together by Lewis. So I'm really finding this to be an awesome HD whoop. It uh, really performed almost better than I expected. And, and I'm really, really, really pleased. And you can adjust your settings even a little bit more as we come over here to the bush. We'll make a little bit of a settings change like that. And you'll see we can open up those shadows a little bit more. If you want a little bit more details in the shadows, this is all just easily done in your editing software there at the end. Or as you saw from the beginning, out of the box with those settings, works perfectly fine too if you want to post it up that way. So as always, I do like to not deliberately <laughs> do a little uh, flip over after crash test. Here's a little bit of sound. As always on these little cameras, the sound is awful. That is negative 14 dB and it's still that loud. So you would have to crank your volume down really low. And when you're talking props on a little guy like this, the spin and the uh, the revolutions are so high, you know, that it just it just becomes that, that noise that you heard. So it's really up to you if you want to use it. You know, this is maybe better for making your videos with the songs and, and music playing in the background than, than actually getting some motor noise because it's pretty horrible that way. So just some quick footage. Like I said, not a big long flight. Let you look and see how quality the camera is. Uh, the quad fly is great. Uh, I'm really excited to see it on 3S and I'll have another video on both the standard and this one on the 3S. And those videos should be out soon. As always, guys, look for the links below for this guy and other things. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and happy flying. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV-related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways, on YouTube look over here don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin and if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel check that out right here and thanks for coming don't forget to subscribe and happy flying